Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be teaching you how to create a gaming video in HitFilm for Express. So as you can see I've got four files here. The first one I've got is my screen recording. I've also got an intro as well as, as a face cam um, and uh, some background music and I'm going to teach you how to edit a gaming video with these four basic elements. So normally I would drag my intro in first. However, there's some things that we we'll need to cover, and first is frame rate. As we can see here, this is 59.94 frames per second, and this is 29.97 frames per second. And we want to have the higher frame rates because that way we can export probably in 60 frames per second. So when you created your project, make sure that when you go into your project tab, you set your frame rate to be 59.94 and apply it or do whatever it says here on your recording. Now the next thing you want to do is drag your intro in and if it's in a different frame rate to um, what your recording is then click no. Um, but then after you drag your intro in we need to drag in our recording. So I'm going to trim it in the trimmer here um, by selecting in and out points. So I just want to start the recording here. So I'll send in point here by pressing this button or using the I key on my keyboard and somewhere close to the end I'll press O to create an out point then I'll just drop the video after my intro and I'll move it back so it's directly before the intro and I'm just going to zoom in on the timeline a bit here so we've got our recording nice and cool of our gameplay although mine's just uh, from another one of my hit film tutorials um, and now I'm going to go through some editing basics as you can see here here's a gap which I don't really want uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my video right here by pressing the slice tool and cutting it and I'm going to go back to the ripple tool now and I'm going to set my point to be here where it starts again I can just drag here to shorten this clip um, until this length and it will automatically move it all the way back for me and shorten it. This saves the time of having to move back after you've shortened it. Now what I also want to do is um, get this uh, get this face cam. So I recorded my face, actually it's Donald Trump's face, but never mind that. Um, and all I have to do is I have to go into the controls panel after I've dragged it onto my second video layer. And in my transform I'm just going to scale it down so it's right in the corner and I can move it till it's in the corner of the screen like so. Alright, so we've got our video, some basic editing done. Um, and we've also got our face cam. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to add some music. Here is the Donald Trump 7-Eleven remix that I found on YouTube. Pretty cool song. So I'm just going to drag it in straight after my intro onto the second audio track this time. And I can change the volume of this. So, for example, I can change level to be down at, say, negative 10 or even negative 16 if the music is too loud. And you don't need music in a gaming video, but sometimes just that extra music uh, is quite nice. So, say we uh, are playing CSGO or something like that, and uh, there's one bit here which we want to put in slow motion. So, let's just zoom into our timeline and cut a section of our video off like so. And now we want to really emphasize this because it's such an awesome shot of something. So we can just go back to our uh, to our normal uh, selection tool, select a bit after it, and let's just move it back a bit because we're going to put this in slow motion now. So what we can do is right click and press speed duration and we can set an exact value such as 50%, oh, not 40, 50% or select a duration that we want it to be and now it will play back at half the speed um, and we can press OK and because it's played at 60 frames per second because I recorded it at 60 frames per second it'll play back at 30 frames per second which will be still quite smooth you'll start at noticing getting jittery if you play it back for at something under 30 frames per second or under 25 frames per second so as we can see the audio is now also uh, lower as well. But say we want to do even more than that. There are some cool effects that we can do to really emphasize this. So for example, um, if we go down into our presets 
um, and we just go down to film looks, we can see there's some really, really cool stuff. So um, we can just like apply a purple push effect, for example, and this will really um, give it a grade, which will make it look really different and uh, really make it stand out from everything else, which will be pretty cool. And you can even go in further and adjust these. I don't even create your own grade, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. I've already got another video on that. There's also all sorts of other effects. For example, there's an automatic shake effect, uh, which we can use like so. And this is for something like the triggered meme, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So um, what we can do is if we just play this back, we can see it's shaking around. Um, and we can make it shake around even more and even faster, like so. Maybe make the amount a bit less. Like so, um, you know, some pretty cool stuff there as well. Now, if you want to do like a zoom in to the video, um, you have to create a composite shot, and it's a lot more uh, advanced than what I want to really cover in this video. So I've got another video on that uh, right here if you want to watch that. Now we're going to go into transitions. So, for example, um, you know, to go into that bit that I might want some slow motion or something on. Um, if we just go into our video transitions, um, we can see that maybe there might be some cool transitions we want. So, for example, an additive dissolve. It's sort of like a, a normal dissolve transition, but it's like a flash as well. So, and between these two, done. And between these two, done. So it, it won't render in real time, but you can see that dissolves between the two. Those are just one of the many transitions that you can find in here which could really help um, you know, lift the production value of your video. Now if you're using a bad microphone or something, unfortunately there is no um, like audio noise reduction effect um, in hit film, so you'll just have to make do with that. There's also some really cool blurs, so for example a zoom blur which we could apply, let's just apply it to this video again. So I'm gonna get rid of the shake um, and in our zoom blur, um, we can see, we can select where we want to zoom into, um, and we can also set the strength of the zoom, and also the quality. If you say you have a really important um, shot or something happening at this very second, and you really want it to be um, like in time with the music, then you can even use the waveform. If we can zoom in even more, we can see the exact waveform of the music and we can see where the beats are in the music and we can use that uh, to really time our video with the climaxes um, in our song like here for example and of course um, if you have an outro then you can also put that at the end as well and um, that'll also make for you know a more professional looking video so once you've edited everything then you can go and export it so by default all of these will be the same settings as in your editing timeline. So make sure make sure that you select the editor as your timeline um, and make sure you export the content area which is where all the content is. Um, if you have like an empty video at the end then make sure you trim it down. You can also select the entire timeline which I wouldn't uh, do and also the work area which is defined by this little thing which you can drag around like so. You can choose to export video and export audio or to say not export audio um, and you can choose all the different aspects to your video so these will always be the same and I wouldn't change any of these however you got an error because you need to have a higher level and a higher bitrate so for most gaming videos um, a 1080p 60 video um, I might put it somewhere between something like something like this you have to put it above 4.2 for 60 frames per second 1080p video and you can set it to be something like 40 to 50 uh, megabits per second. After this all you have to do is click export and you're pretty much good to go. If you have errors with audio and video being out of sync make sure that this frame rate is the same as the one in your timeline and if that doesn't work then also make sure that you check out Hitfilm Sensei's video uh, right here about variable frame rates and all of that sort of thing. So thank you guys for watching. If there's anything else you really need to know about making a gaming video in Hitfilm 4 Express, please leave a comment down below and I am sure to reply to you. So thank you for listening. Stay shiny. Bye.